What's up guys, Cass here from Giveaway Studios. And on this one, I'm gonna show you how to turn all these little foam pieces right here into this little Wonder Woman outfit for a baby right there. All right, so first thing we'll do for the kit is put together the little tiara, little thingy, majigger thing, yeah. That's what it's called, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so these little pieces go like this on the corners here, all right? This is going to follow this outline here and go over these little two pieces here, like so. This is gonna go in here, like so, nice and flush. And then this path here that's left over is going to be for this piece that's going to sit right underneath this white piece here. Now remember the kit comes with different colors, so yours might not be white, so just follow the general uh, path of the uh, the shapes that I'm doing right now and that's going to be about it So I'm going to fast forward through the process of gluing these together and catch you guys when it's done to show you how it looks completed guys so this is what it looks like when it is finished so as you can see the little tabs this goes over it this goes over everything and we have ourselves a little tiara all right we're gonna put that aside and start working on the next parts so the next step we're gonna take is glue these pieces which correspond to the chest here so this is going to go here and this is going to go over it like that but before we glue this down uh, you're gonna grab your heat gun heat all of your parts your belt your bracers the back piece and we're gonna give a nice curve to them so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through that process and catch you guys on the next step So with all of our pieces heated, you'll notice that some of the parts like the chest plate, stuff like that, I've already started curving. Uh, you can do the same. It's just that as you're heating it, start giving it a little bit of a curve so that it fits uh, how it should. So for the uh, arm, the little arm bracers, I grabbed some masking tape, rolled them up like a burrito, and then taped the two parts together as it was still warm. So that kind of keeps the shape by the time we're ready to paint it. And uh, same thing for the belt. I gave it a little bit of shape also. And then that's gonna end up attaching right here like that. So see, everything's starting to take shape a little bit. Um, once you have this done, there's also a thin piece of two millimeter foam that comes with your kit and that's gonna get used to cover uh, these gaps here. So you should have something like this on the underside. So I'm gonna do that one now and fast forward through that process and I will also glue these two pieces to the chest. Remember, the W looking shape goes first and then the V looking shape goes on top. All right, fast forward, catch you guys on the next step. So this is what the front of the chest looks like assembled with the uh, details. What you can do at this point, you can glue this down uh, or you can keep it separate so that the paint job is a lot easier because this is going to be gold, this is going to be red. Um, and then glue it afterwards or put some Velcro on it or whatever. But you'll see these steps as I go through them. So now for fastening everything to each other. So we have the back plate, we have the front plate. And there's a couple of things that we can do here. Um, you guys are gonna receive a couple of scrap pieces of uh, two millimeter. So one thing that you can do is grab a piece of two millimeter, get around the halfway point, put it in here, put a piece of Velcro on it, and then put the corresponding piece of Velcro here. That way you can shut the sides and you can use the same technique for the top here. Uh, another thing that you can do if you did not want to go that route is you can go out to like a craft store 
and grab some uh, elastic waistband and secure them to the inside on one end and then secure it to the inside on the other end, um, making it, so if I do this from the inside, you'll see, so let's say I had a, a piece here, I would secure that right there, grab this, secure this one right here, stretching it ever so slightly. That way when you uh, put it on the child, there's like, there's a little bit of stretch to it. And if they, if they, if they grow, it kind of grows with them. Um, things like that. Or you can do a combination of both where you grab the elastic waistband, put some Velcro on one end, and permanently glue it to this end. That way this stays constant, but if you wanted to change the position of the Velcro on the inside, you could do that also. I'm gonna continue this tutorial with the, um, the first method that I explained, which is the scrap pieces that you receive as uh, along with the velcro that you receive and that's how i'm going to fasten all four sides basically left and right waist and left and right uh, top all right all right so i'm done with my straps as you can notice i put one on the inside here, one on the inside here on the front plate. I could have done this on the front or the back, it doesn't really matter. Uh, one on the front here, one on the front here, and uh, I put my Velcro here. So what I'm gonna do is paint this first, and then once I'm done, I'll attach the corresponding um, sticky back Velcro parts to the collar, which will close that here, and then I'll attach the velcro here which will close the little chest armor completely and we'll have that all right so i'm gonna plasti dip these all of these parts so remember to heat up your little shield also that's nice and heated up and we still have our uh, taco or should i say burrito bracers and now you notice that when i take the tape off it wants to stay in that shape, which is kind of what we want. So when we go to paint it, and when it's done, we can put it on baby, and it'll just latch onto, latch onto them nice and soft. And we'll just like unravel, put it on the little wrist, and it should attach itself nicely, okay? All right, we're in the paint booth. I'm gonna coat everything with some Plasti Dip. And just to kind of seal the foam, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, by all means, you can start painting this with acrylic. So I'm gonna do about two coats of this. I'm gonna paint this red, paint that red, paint this uh, kind of like a silver, uh, paint this gold, paint this a silver, paint this a silver after everything's been plastic up. So I'm just gonna fast forward through everything. All right, so all my parts are plasti dipped. Now what I'm gonna do is grab some masking tape and I'm gonna mask out my tabs because the next step is going to be painting and the paint is not gonna allow the glue to stick very well to my tab. So I just wanna keep the plasti dip on this nice and fresh. I don't need anything else on top of it so that when I do put my Velcro down, I don't have to worry about it coming off or ungluing because it couldn't make a good adhesion with the paint. So that's this step right here. And then I'm going to paint everything there proper colors. I'll have links in the description to the paints that I've used for this build. All right, everything looks good so far, so good. All right. While everything else is drying, we can start painting our pieces. So we have the little bracers and the little shield. And we got some gold acrylic paints that I'm gonna use for this. Again, I will be putting links in the description to 
the pieces, uh, the stuff that I use, the paints that I use. So, uh, nothing too fancy here, just uh, painting the details on uh, as they should be. So, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this process and get to the results in a little bit. Cheers. and shiny I'm painting our little mini bracers all right those are looking good all right and as you can see they're still holding their shape and if you ever want them to take the shape back you just do the same thing we did it before uh, grab some tape some masking tape so that it doesn't mess up the paint and uh, just hold it in this position for a little bit and then release it and it should curl right back up and we have our little baby shield also all right, so now we're gonna move on to uh, painting the detail parts on the chest piece. All right, so before I carry on, a couple of tips and tricks um, that I didn't go over earlier, but on all of the parts that are gonna make direct contact with the skin, I would put some masking tape on there. That way, you're sure you don't get any um, you know, paint or anything like that, that could uh, have a reaction with uh, baby's delicate soft skin. So I would do something like that, paint it, do all your stuff, that way it's just the foam, which is harmless. So the same thing for this, before you go and paint these, don't do anything to them, I would put some masking tape on the inside, just to protect the foam. All right. So with that said, I'm just gonna go ahead and do some silver details, highlights on this and on the belt, and I'll catch you guys on the next step. Uh, I'm also gonna do um, the details on here, which are gonna be silver and gold as well. Fast forward time. these tabs so I'm just gonna take my masking tape off and reveal the fresh foam that has not been affected by the paint since these opened up a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and put some tightness back into them and as you can tell I like doing the big tab over the small tab it, that doesn't mean anything it's just easy I feel like for me to take it. See, we have our belt painted, our shield, our tiara, and now I'm just going to assemble everything. I'm going to go ahead and add some contact cement to the inside here just to help reinforce the Velcro a little bit. Because at this point, getting contact cement on your paint is the worst thing you can do to yourself because it will strip the paint off so quickly. Get the velcro right off and attach it to it. So what I'm gonna do here is going to be a little different on the sides. So I'm gonna put my strip of velcro and I'm gonna split my other pieces in half and I'm going to put them perpendicular to this. The reason why I'm doing that is in case she, well not in case, when she grows in, in the next couple of months or weeks, um, I'll be able to adjust this a little bit. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and split these in two. And always remember guys, my DIY kits are a guide. You don't have to do exactly as I do. 
Uh, you can if you want to, but if you find that, eh, you know what, I don't like the way he did that, I want to do it this way. That is absolutely fine. That is why I make the kits so that people can get creative, but, um, you know, just have the same parts that I use. You don't have to make it the same way that I make it. Uh, if you feel like you have a method that may work better or that you're more comfortable with. All right. But hopefully the instructions are useful because I always mention alternatives to the stuff that I do. Go ahead and add these the long way. So this way. Assemble the top part of the armor. I'm gonna go ahead and bend that back. There we go. Bend this back. There we go. And then I'll put these together. Like so. And this side in. Like so. And there is our little Wonder Woman armor. At least the top piece. Alright. Uh, and then remember, I still had the velcro here for the belt so it's going to go this way and there's also uh, enough pieces that you can put one down here but um, if you put it on tight enough it may not be necessary um, but if you feel that you need it definitely go for it all right so i'm going to go ahead and fast forward through that process and catch you guys at the next step All right, for the final part, what you guys are gonna do is gonna grab your shield and the spare part right here. You're gonna measure out uh, the fist of the child, like how much material you're gonna need for them to be able to actually hold it. Once you figure that out, go ahead and mark the area, cut it out, and then just kind of bend this around. And once you have it reached the two spots that you want it to be in, mark those areas. I'm just trying to get it to be as centered as possible. Uh, whoops, I'm slipping on me. All right, and once you have those, grab a sharp blade, and just kind of open this up a little bit. Like so. basically glue the handle to where this hole corresponds. All right, doesn't have to be perfect. And then go ahead and put your, you can do this with hot glue. You don't have to necessarily use the barge for the step or even super glue, um, whatever you have laying around as long as it uh, keeps it attached. And there we have it. Now they have something that they can hold uh, to take pictures or whatnot. Have it. Uh, and that pretty much concludes the tutorial for how to make the armor for the little baby Wonder Woman. Um, I'm going to link uh, other tutorials on how to make a, the little tool dress. I'm not gonna add those steps to uh, this video just for um, length sake and because there's plenty of them that exist already and it's a super easy process so um, yeah that's it for this one guys uh, this has been cast from giver studios and i'll catch you guys on the next one cheers